Hey guys, JJ here, and it looks like more details on Resident Evil Village's playtest have been revealed, including more information on the merchant, a new enemy type, and the opening sequence of the game. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Once again, this news comes from our friends over at Biohazard Declassified. It should be noted that what you're about to hear in today's video is right now just a rumor, but if it's true, it could be a potential spoiler, so you've been warned. Capcom has officially stated that we'll be getting more information on Resident Evil Village in August, and I have a feeling we may be seeing more information this Thursday at PlayStation State of Play. So now let's get into these rumors. As stated in the previous video, there was multiple versions of the playtest, so not everybody played the same demo. Last week we highlighted the playtest that took place in the castle, and today we're going to be talking about the playtest that took place in the village. First, we'll get into the merchant. Sources say her name will be Morgana. And again, says she will exchange money for information and goods, stranger. Now, what kind of goods will she be selling? Well, it appears that she'll be selling healing items, ammo, weapon parts, and information she has will also come at a price. I find that very interesting. Resident Evil 4 lets you buy all of these things except for information. So maybe if the game gets too difficult or you are unsure of something, maybe you can purchase a tip. One specific piece of information she sells according to the source is that the castle is kept the truth for everything going on in the village next up is the gorilla man yes that's right we got beast men witches and gorilla men what is going on surprisingly this isn't the first time this term has been used to describe a large weapon wielding enemy seen in the trailer as you can see he's the one that drops down in that short clip uh, in April, Rely on Horror published a rumor article that also referred to a massive gorilla like Monster Man with chains and a staff, and believe it's safe to assume these are one and of the same. Now personally, I don't think this is going to be an actual Gorilla Man, that's just the best way the playtesters could describe them. The same goes for the werewolves. It looks like a werewolf, but I'm sure there's going to be some sort of reasonable explanation as to why they look and act the way they do. They describe the Gorilla Man as a large enemy covered in several chains wielding a giant axe. They describe this as being similar to the Executioner Magini in Resident Evil 5. He also screams in agony and asking for help, probably a victim of the experiments that took place there. That's pretty dark. I like that. Battle sequence with the Gorilla Man. Our source describes a sequence in this version of the demo that I'm going to describe as a mix of the cabin sequence from Resident Evil 4 and the public assembly area in Resident Evil 5. During the battle, pale and rotten enemies with axes appear alongside the Gorilla Man, who seems to fill the role as a mini boss, at least. The Gorilla Man can kill Ethan with just three attacks, in addition to being able to jump and hit the character with his huge axe. Our source also said that it is worth noting that the werewolf like enemies are very difficult to hit. They are moving very quickly and there were several times they ran out of ammo because they missed the target several times. So these beastmen sound kind of like hunters and this axeman is the executioner. Alright and lastly we'll get into so what is the intro? The game opens up with a storybook like intro. The best way I can describe it is similar to the old Disney cartoon movies that would start with a book opening two drawings on the page that would match what the narrator was saying. Uh, we've seen kind of some of this in the trailer so it would make sense that this is how the game would open. After this opening the player can see Ethan coming home after work to find Mia telling a story to their daughter. Okay, so that baby is a girl. Next is when Chris appears with his henchman and kills Mia. After that, the screen goes black and Ethan wakes up in the village. There are several times Ethan can be heard talking to himself about needing to find a phone to call for help. Another interesting note is that one of the villagers tells Ethan that a wealthy woman arrived in the village and took over the castle that had been abandoned for years. After her arrival, the village was never the same. They also state that they didn't solve any puzzles. It was basically explorations and confrontations against enemies. If the character that a lot of people assume is Alex Wesker, then that would be her, the wealthy woman that moves into the castle and changes the town. It definitely does have my interest. Again, I'm very excited to hear that they're going to be adding in a new merchant character. I love that aspect of Resident Evil 4. The village sounds very interesting and I want to know what's going on now in that castle and why it's happening to the village. But on top of that, Ethan still needs to figure out why Chris killed Mia. So this is definitely interesting news and it's just something to tie us over until we get more official news hopefully soon but now i want to know your guys thoughts what do you think of the opening sequence being like a storybook fairy tale what do you think of these new gorilla enemies that'll play just like the executioner what do you think about this merchant character being added to the game let us know down below in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe for all the latest resident evil village news the residents of evil is a patreon supported channel and also supported by our youtube members so if you would like to become a youtube member click that join button down below and unlock access to a custom badge and custom emojis you can use in our live streams as always thank you guys so much much for watching and we hope to see you back at the residence of evil.